And we turn now to Surah to Ali Imran. And in this Surah, Allah is speaking to Nabi Isa Islam, and the conversation is recorded in the Quran. It is the time of the crucifixion. Allah says, they did not kill him. And Allah says, Wama Salamuhu, they did not crucify him. And if you know that this is what Allah said, and if you say that they, they crucified him, you're a kafir. Shall I repeat it? For all the dumb dumbs around there who's saying that Imran Hussein is a kafir, let me repeat it. <laughs> Let's get rid of this rubbish. Allah says in the Quran, they did not kill him. Wama Allah says in the Quran, they did not crucify him. Wama salabuhu. And if you know that this is what Allah said in the Quran, and you say that they crucified him, you are kafir. Right? <laughs> I never said that they crucified him. That's what they say. On judgment day, they will have to answer. Allah speaks to him. Ya Isa, O oh Jesus, Inni mutawafiq. I'm going to cause you to experience something called wafat. What is wafat? I don't want you to answer that question. No. Thank you, but I want Allah to answer that question. <laughs> and he does answer the question and tell us what is wafat. And he does so in Surah Al-Zumar. And he says, Allah yatawaffa mawtiha. That when the time of maut comes, Allah causes the soul to experience wafat. Meaning, Allah takes your soul when your time come to die. Allah takes your soul when your time comes to die, to experience mouth. Shall I repeat it again and again and again and again? This is Allah's explanation of the term wafat. So don't come to me with this nonsense that Allah took him. No, that's false. That's a betrayal of the Quran. Allah took his soul is the correct way. And then Allah says, وَرَافِيُكَ إِلَيَّ And I'm, I will then raise you unto myself. But Allah sent the Quran to people who think. He sent it to Kaumi Likaumi Yatafakkarun. Uh, I don't have a smartphone, but if I had one, I would show it to you. Yeah? The smartphone. This is what. Yes, look at this. This is the fellow. Let me introduce you to him. This is what is robbing you of your time. <laughs> and you can't think anymore because others are now doing your thinking for you. Let me give you a warning. Others are now thinking for you. You are not thinking for yourself. So Allah says, I send this Quran to people who think. And the very famous Islamic scholar I, re I refer to him as Dr. Muhammad Iqbal because I don't use the term Allama because I say great, great men, great men don't need titles. <laughs> great men don't need titles. So I refer to him as Dr. Muhammad Iqbal, the great poet. And uh, I was astonished 
astonished and I loved it when I heard that Iqbal said that this Ummah has stopped thinking for the last 300 years. I said, MashaAllah, he has hit the nail on the head. Yes, Allah sent the Quran to people who think. And a student of mine in, in Manchester who is a graduate of a Darulum, dear student, he surprised me when he said to me, Sheikh, we are not allowed to think in the Darulum. I was astonished. Because I studied in the Alimia Institute of Islamic Studies and my teacher, Maulana Dr. Muhammad Fadlur Rahman Ansari, he, he encouraged me to be an independent thinker. Oh yes. He said, I'm not going to put you on my back and take you up the mountain. I'm going to teach you how to climb the mountain. So he wanted us to be thinkers. So it became such a surprise to me when I learned that the graduates of the Darulum are not allowed to think. So if Allah says, I did, they did not kill him and they did not crucify him, but I took his soul. And then Allah says, I raised him unto myself. And if taking the soul means death, Huh? Then there's a contradiction here. Because on the one hand, they did not kill him. They did not crucify. But on the other hand, I took his soul. So how do we resolve this? Answer, the same verse of Surah to Zumar, where Allah says, Allah takes the soul. Allah yatawaffal anfusar. Allah takes the souls at the time of mouth. That same verse goes on to say, Walati lam tamut, lam tamut, most certainly do not die, do not experience death. Who are they? Those whose souls are taken while they are sleeping. For yumsikulati kada alayhal maut. When Allah takes the souls while they are sleeping, He keeps those souls for whom maut is written. Wa yursil ukra ila ajalin musamma. And for others, for whom mouth is not written, he sends the soul back. And so Imran put on his thinking cap. It's, it's something good to do, to think. And I understood what happened. Allah says, I took his soul. Allah said, they did not crucify him. Allah says, I made it appear like that. So I don't have to go in this bin to take out this rubbish. My language is harsh. I don't have to go to any garbage bin. I want these words to be with me on Judgment Day when I stand before Allah. But this is Imran speaking. I don't have to go into any garbage bin to take out this rubbish, which is also an insult to Allah makes him unjust that Allah that Allah caused somebody to assume the appearance of Jesus and that innocent man was crucified. No, I don't have to go into that garbage bin. No, the Quran explains to me that Allah took his soul and then Allah returned his soul. It's just a matter of thinking, that's all. But they did not know that Allah returned his soul. So he did not experience that. And then the verse goes on to say, وَرَافِيُكَ إِلَيَّ And I'm going to raise you on to myself. So Nabi Isa is not in Jannah. He's with Allah. 
وجاعل الذين ومتخرك ومتخرك من الذين كفروا and I'm going to cleanse you of what these people who have committed kufr have said about you and your mother and now listen and this goes back to Surah to Saf وجاعل الذين تبعوك those who follow you, O oh Jesus. وَجَعِلُوا الَّذِينَ تَبَوُوكَ فَوْكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ That I'm going to raise those who follow you. Those who said we will help Allah. I'm going to raise you above and dominant over these who have committed kufr and who are enemies of these and when I do that they will remain in that position of dominance until the end of the world tell that to NATO you can put it in your pipe and smoke it <laughs>